Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of December 24th. And a very Merry Christmas to everyone. And a special thank you to all of you who have been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting noticed and for all the thumbs up on the videos and the comments. Thank you very much. And your first card out is the Four of Rods. Nice. Contentment, joy, happiness, harmony. You know, you're just getting along with people and you've you found your niche. Your people that you get along with, your community. And you're quite happy this week with all and everyone who's around you. And you're just feeling like you've come home. Like you, you fit in, which is very lovely for, to see. And the King of Pentacles. So look at you. Making good investments, looking into your future, taking a slow, steady pace. Making sure that your money is increasing for the future. So that you have security and that and your jobs are secure. You know, and, and you're taking the leadership in this. You know, in your relationship to make sure that things go more smoothly and that they grow and prosper for your future. And the Nine of Pentacles. So very nice. Very secure. You know, you have all the fruits of your labor around you, you know, and you're finally learning that you can reward yourself as well. You know, maybe you bought yourself that little gift that you've always wanted or thought about and you've, you know, always put off. And this is the week that you decide to get that little extra luxury for yourself because you're content at where you're at. You're satisfied, your finances are in good standing and you're very content. People are looking at you as an example for what they're striving to achieve for their future. So congratulations. And the two of swords. Yeah, you're definitely, you know, trying to make a decision this week on, you know, something in your life. And it's, it's very hard for you to make this choice. You know, and you're weighing all the options and, and listening to advice from other people and you're just right now you want to deal with this but you don't want to deal with it you're at a deadlock so you're just standing you know pat in in your decisions this far before you make your next move Ooh, and look at you go and there's the fool. So new beginnings after that once you make that decision and you know lay the swords down and and pick a path you're going to be quite happy that you did you know and and it's like a it's total start restart for yourself you're starting over you're more passionate about things your finances are starting to increase and you're doing this literally by blind faith and it's panning out for you tenfold so that's really good. And if you've put something on the back burner that you've wanted to do or had an interest in, you're now doing that for yourself, you know, and you're finding pleasure in it and you're understanding that, you know, because this now brings you happy, happiness, it's also opening you up to everyone else. Like people can feel it coming up off of you, which is very nice. You're making sure that, you know, all your ducks are in a row, your bills are all paid. You're not doing, you know, anything without forethought, but your new beginning is going to take you on a whole new path for yourself. And once you get going on it, you're going to wonder why you didn't do it before. And the Knight of Swords, yeah, you're taking action, that's for sure. You know, you're, you're driven to succeed. You have a vision of what you want in your life, people, places, and things, as well as jobs, and you're determined to have it. And now you're, you know, taking those first steps moving forward in order to succeed, you know. And as you go, sometimes you run into um, a few people that have, you know, opinions, but you're, you're not having any of it. You're clearing the path for yourself. For some of you, this is going to be a quick trip, unexpected, but you're going to be quite joyful that you've done it. 
you know, maybe you're going home for Christmas or, you know, going to see friends or relatives that you haven't seen in a while. And you're just taking that time back for yourself as you step forward. Oh, and look at that. Ace of Wands. So you are definitely on a positive perspective for yourself. You know, you're understanding that you're feeling that urge to get going. So these are new beginnings, opportunities are there, and you're finally listening to your own intuition. You know, when you think about um, if they make a job posting, if, if that's what it is, and, and uh, you think about it going, eh, well, you know, I don't know if I can do that. Well, yeah, of course you can. Don't doubt yourself. You're very creative and you have the willpower to master whatever it is that you want to achieve. So your new opportunities are going to give you more growth as well as finances. So you're on the right path for yourself. And look at that. Lofty dreams, opportunities for sure coming in for you, Ed. And once one comes, it seems like, you know, it doesn't follow. And then you have to choose so your you know your your imagination is stretching and going wild because your daydreams are right there for you and now you're deciding okay which one am i going to take because they're being offered to you like i said almost simultaneously and now you're having a difficult choice nailing down which one you want to go with first oh and the wheel of fortune so look at you you are determined. This is a good fortune, good luck. This is money in the picture coming in, you know, an advancement in careers and jobs, maybe even actually changing the job, you know, literally changing your career to something totally different for yourself. And you're going to be so pleased that you've done it. You know, you've succeeded. Maybe you've tried to look into doing that job before, like I said, and, you know, you sort of held yourself back or you weren't accepted, but this is the time that it is accepted so you're fitting in more and you're feeling more like you've achieved things and and which in turn makes you feel better about yourself and your surroundings but there's money here there's good career breaks you know um yeah love as well like it's just a very happy prosperous card and it's all turning in the right direction for you and the six of rods. There you are. Very proud of yourself. And you should be. You know, you're getting recognition for your hard work and what you've brought to the table. And people are starting to understand, you know, your point of view in many areas of your life. And which in turn, like I said, gets you noticed in a good way. And you're standing out in a good way. That's why these opportunities are now being offered to you more. Wow. And the lovers for some of you. So maybe you're along with this new career pos position, you're going to meet somebody that, you know, is going to be around for a very long time to come. This could be also a relationship that's turning into more. Maybe you're getting engaged or married or moving in together, or all of the above. But you're very happy. You're content. You have, you know, your partnerships you're happy, you're moving forward, you're getting married, you know, and you're just feeling more secure about your life and what you have in it. So that's beautiful to see, you know, your, your relationships in all areas are now more rewarding to you. They feel like you fit, you're happy, you're content. Wow, it's nice to be you. And the nine of cups, so look at that, wish fulfillment. Like this is a real turning point in your life and, and you're knowing it and you can feel it, sense it, you know, taste it even in some cases. And it's going to, you know, with this wish fulfillment, this could be money that you've asked for in the past and, you know, the universe is helping you achieve it. You're getting more stability, your luxuries. You're just having the best time this week with happiness all the way around. You just love the world and everything in it. Yeah, and the hangman, and that's okay. You're, you know, if you were feeling pressured to get going and make decisions and stuff like that, and maybe there were some setbacks, it's no longer the case. You figured it out for yourself. You know, you've taken a really good look at all the circumstances of how it came about. 
and you're okay with that. So you'll take yourself out of this mode of just, you know, stepping back a little bit. It was just a, a breather, but it's not for long because you're still, you know, striving to go forward and you are going to go very far. All right, I am going to shuffle and do you an angel oracle card, but your cards are all about movement, you know, better jobs, more money, new love interests, you know, making good investments for yourself. You're looking out into the future. All right. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome follows your positive expectation. Isn't that perfect? And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.